Okay, color popish. Color popper. Color papity do. Your girl bad, but does she have nice nostrils though? Cause I would have been walking around looking like a forearm, straight humorous. Hello, loves. Hello, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is a home skillet biscuit? So as you guys may or may not know that I have been doing videos that kind of focus on buying a lot of products from one brand and kind of like testing it out, spending a lot of money, honestly. A lot of money that people just on a day-to-day -day basis don't care enough to spend that much money at XYZ brand to see if they like everything, you know what I mean? And I noticed while doing those videos that it's actually really, really hard to buy a lot of products from a brand that's really inexpensive because it's really hard to review it because you can get so much crap. Today we're starting like the sister series. What can you get for $100 at XYZ, ABC, whoever we go into. Today we're featuring ColourPop because everybody and their mama wanted me to try out more stuff from ColourPop, give my review. Spoiler alert, I like a lot of it and that's how we got here today because my look is fire. But what I wanted to do is go to ColourPop.com, pick out a full face of products from foundation to concealer to eyebrows to setting powder to eyeshadows, lips, as much as I could get as possible with our allotted $100 and see what we can do with it. Everything on my face right now is from ColourPop except for my lashes, simply because they don't have uh, false lashes as far as I know. And along the way, we're gonna be seeing what's good, what's not so good, and ultimately how easy it was to get to this final destination here. But before we get started, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. I upload on the regs so you will see my face. Hopefully that's an incentive and not makes you just wanna leave the video. Let's get started. So um, let's acknowledge something really quick. I already filled in my eyebrows. <laughs> Usually for a video like this, I would refrain from doing that for the purpose of how I did buy a ColourPop uh, eyebrow pencil. This is the Brow Boss in Ash Brown. This is like an Anastasia-esque pencil. But the reason why I'm not uh, showing you my bare brows is cause I messed them up. <laughs> I was on Twitter having a meltdown cause my eyebrows were so messed up. Made the uh, horrid mistake of using where is it i should have threw it away but using one of these like it's a comb and a blade together that's supposed to like sh like help trim your brows because my brows were getting a little crazy so i wanted to like shorten the actual hairs of my brows as i threw that in the garbage it commenced to well if i'm gonna bring your attention to it what was the point <laughs> but like it ended up chopping the hairs in the front right here straight in half so it's like it's like a fade my eyebrows <laughs> my eyebrows got like an opposite fade it's not high top but like at the bottom so it's like all like really really uncomfortably close right here and right here and then other places it's just blotchy and um y'all not about to catch me in these streets like this i have noticed though that since messing up my eyebrows filling them in my eyebrows look better filled in what can you do so let's discuss foundation um, the foundation I'm going to be using is the No Filter Stick Foundation and I am in shade Medium Dark 147 In. Quite a bit of product. If I'm not mistaken, this is like $9.99 or something like that, about $10. Is that a good color? I was so scared for obvious reasons. I always get it wrong. Uh, this is my first time applying this, so I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on. I'm probably putting on too much, but it's fun. Then I'm gonna blend with a sponge. This is one of those microfiber sponges. I've been using them in the last few videos and people have been asking me what are my thoughts on them. Um, this is the Juno & Co one. Have you ever used a product and you're like, I don't know if I like it or not, but I keep using it, so I guess I like it. That's how I feel about this. I do feel like by and large, it doesn't absorb as much product as like a sponge or any other sponge or a brush would use. And also I can clean it easier. I don't know if I think that it blends things particularly better than anything else. I think it blends pretty comparable. I gotta mess with this. Like, I don't know why, I know I don't know why I thought this would be a lot more drying looking, like a dry, cakey kind of mess. But it's just giving me like a good like skin-like full coverage though. Okay. Okay, color popish. Color popper. Color papity do. I'm gonna go with concealer. 
I did use this under my eyebrows already, so I know that I do enjoy this look, this feeling, and this color type thing, but I'm curious like how it looks under the eyes and all that. I have the No Filter Concealer. This is Dark 32. This is what I'm going to use under my eyes. It's kind of yellow tone. Um, and then this is Dark 46, which I believe is supposed to be the same, like matching my, my, like, my face just for you know s and g's i do have this like discoloration patch that i've kind of had my entire life so we'll just see if that does anything that color is dark that color is darker was this supposed to be my contour maybe it was <laughs> it's a little warm though good thing my scar is right there <laughs> so i can just make this a little bronze situation okay gotta go is stuck in my head because i've been listening to it on the elliptical have you ever seen people on the elliptical and you can tell they're not there to work out, they just there because they grooving? That's me. <laughs> Up the campus and you're too shaken. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Just because you don't like being here don't mean I have to. We so high, you feel Okay, and now we got Stark 32. Eh, you feel my contact moving, gross. Ooh, that's a concealer, honey. These are so nice. And they're like six dollars, man. My nose gonna be lopsided. <laughs> no, this way. Sorry, I wasn't really talking. I got kind of lost in the experience. I really, really enjoyed that, actually. <laughs> so, since we are still on the whole like no filter thing, um, I'm gonna go in with their loose powder. This is the banana powder. So presumably this would be yellow tone. Ooh, this is real yellow tone. That's probably one of the most yellow, yellow tone powders I've ever seen. Cause usually, usually they're like, like a light little yellow, like a, oh, she's cute, kind of yellow. This is like canary, Tweety Bird yellow. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Go under the eye. I'm not gonna bake. I'm gonna just let it sit there while I do the other eye. Just powdering this like middle part. I'm actually not gonna powder my nose because I kind of like how it looks there. My little swerve. All right. Brush this away. This looks so good. <laughs> like I'm sorry. I'm a little shook because um it's so affordable. It's just so great. My wallet is not crying as much as it usually is. So there you go, there's our finish. Let me bring you up close. I did get a bronzer. What's interesting about their like pressed blushes and bronzers is that you can buy them either in the pan so that you can put them in a palette or you can buy them in these kind of like individual cartridges, cartridges? Single, single pans, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then you can like pop it out if you want to because there's like a little pinhole in the back where you can pop it out and see if you want to put it in a palette. Um, I didn't buy a palette because again, I was spending a very specific amount of money, um, but I did include the price of the empty pan in the $100 that we're calculating today. The bronzer that I'm using is CA Dreaming. Ready looking bronzy color. We'll see. The thing about bronzers though, is like it's really hard to tell until you wear them. Boop, 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 Ooh, sexy forehead. Yes, sexy temple. Boop, 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 boop. Get in the lace so that there is no trace. Look at how they have a mirror, even in this. It's crazy. But, oh, wow, that's pretty. Ready for all of the winter to go away and die for the year. Okay, while I was bronzing, I noticed that our foundation is creasing a little around my mouth. So I'm just gonna like really press in some powder there. No, it's all happening Again, much like the bronzer situation, the blushes can also be in a palette. These press ones can be in a palette or they can be in a singular little pan Ooh. what is with me holding things i can't the color that i got was too lip to quit too lip to quit hey, too lip. Too lip to quit. Yeah. which is just like a mauvey matted brown peachy color i just literally listed like a fourth of all the colors it could possibly be. A good tip for blush application if you don't know where to put it is to always make that face like you got some tea to spill. Okie dokie, now time for highlight. This is gonna be one of the Super Shock Cheek 
highlighters. This is in Thimble, which is like a yellowy gold. If you're unfamiliar with ColourPop, largely what they became famous for years ago was these weird kind of textured, bouncy cream textures that they did for eyeshadows for quite a long time, which kind of bled into highlighters and other products that they use that kind of had that same texture. These products are really good to use with a brush or with your fingers. If you want something a little bit more subtle, I would go with a brush. I don't know if I want subtle or not. So that's why I'm just going in with a brush first and then deciding accordingly. Recently, I've been doing this thing where I like go on my nostrils. Uh, I can't do that with a brush. I'm gonna use my finger and go on my nostrils and like highlight. I don't know why, I just think it looks good from the side. Look at it, like her nose is there. It's at attention versus it's like, it's kind of there. Then from the side, using like a little brush, I'm just like really emphasizing this like side highlight. I don't know if this is just like really specific to my nose shape. On the tip of my nosey, and then right down the middle part right here. Yeah, look at them sexy nostrils. Get you a girl with some nice nostrils. Your girl bad, but does she have nice nostrils though? Wow, cute. The sun had the nerve to set. <laughs> but this is what my skin is looking like. I don't think a singular product was over $10. Um, the majority of which weren't near it. Also some of the things for the Pro Filter line you can get in bundles. I don't think I did that because I didn't want the primer or the setting spray because well, they were both matte skin focused and I just knew that wouldn't work on me so it was kind of a waste of my very specific amount of money that I was spending. I didn't but if you want to do that that's also an option for you. Next I'm going in with brown sugar. I've been wanting this palette for a while. I don't know why there's nothing particularly unique about it but it looked cute it looked like it'd be a cute little palette to travel with um and if i'm not mistaken this is part of the karuchi tran collaboration don't quote me on that i don't care <laughs> i don't know why i brought that up but if you were curious if you're a karuchi fan if you're a karuchi tran fan then maybe that would make you like lead one way or another i just saw that this is one of the few palettes on ColourPop that had a mirror and i knew i would wear these colors so this is why I got it. As always, I have no look in mind. So um, I'm gonna go in with Jamocha because this looks to be the closest to a transition shade for me. And I'm gonna put this right in the crease. Well, that's, that's way warmer than I thought it was. I was about to bring it all right up here and try to do some contouring. Not today, sis, because I would have been walking around looking like a forearm, straight humorous. <laughs> oh god editing kendall just realized that the humerus is actually not in the forearm quick anatomy lesson it's actually above it more so in the shoulder and bicep tricep area you're welcome you never thought you'd get an anatomy lesson here as per usual i don't know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna blend this in the crease pigmentation fire though they are a little powdery in the pan i don't know if you can see that but i don't really mind that as long as it's not going too crazy because it just gets messy you know what i mean but i'm just gonna press it in and then blend it out i'm gonna go in with chai which is like tanny color and go around the edges to blend that out a little more one thing that i didn't notice until just now my nose looked mad dry that could be one of two reasons one because i didn't exfoliate which i assume i was supposed to because my skin is dry but like sue me but it also could be that this is a little bit more drying than I expected it to be so next time I use it I will uh, exfoliate first I need to exfoliate anyway so exfoliate then use it and see if this is a problem that happens again but that's something to note if you have dry skin that it will kind of patch I actually will bring you up closer ah uh, uh, you can see it pretty well there it's like patching up and flaking up on my nose because I'm quite dry I didn't even really powder this part of my nose, so the highlight probably isn't helping either because it's just bringing attention to, <laughs> to all of that mess there, but just bringing your attention to that. Surreal, is that how you pronounce that? Because that's not how you spell surreal. That a little lower. 
Ooh, these colors are pretty. Putting that in the outer corner. Should I do like a, what is that called that all the people do? You're not a beauty guru until you do a cut crease. Until you do a cut crease. I don't do cut creases. Um, <laughs> um, uneven lid space. So doing cut creases is just like mad frustrating for me. But as far as these eyeshadows, these are bomb. These are bomb.com. So far, nothing is dreadfully disappointing except for how my nose is kind of looking. But I, again, I don't know if that's because of the foundation or because of me or the mixture of the two. That's very possible. I guess I'm gonna leave that there for now because I have a complaint. So for the sake of this video, I decided to repurchase an eyeshadow that I had purchased long ago when ColourPop was new and I wanted to try their eyeshadows and I was watching YouTubers talk about how great this one particular color was, which was called Millionaire. It looks cute, right? The problem is I remember this shadow being crazy. It was like, what? Who would make that so beautiful? It was like glitter and metallic all in one. It looked cute on camera, but this is nothing like Millionaire used to be, okay? I can't explain it. They definitely made the glitters finer, which is nice for someone, but not for me. The whole point was cause it was like, you put this on, it was like a bronze, it was like a creamy bronze glitter that was mildly pressed. And when you put it on any neutral eyeshadow look, it just sent it to new waves. But apparently over the years they've reformulated this color, which is like, why? <laughs> People stay reformulating things that don't need to be reformulated recently. And I'm just trying to figure out what did I do to y'all? I feel like it's very personal at this point. <laughs> if I can find a photo of what Millionaire used to look like back in like 2011, rest in peace, Millionaire. But it's fine, cause I bought these. These gonna go on my lid. <laughs> Glitterly obsessed. In my last video, I did a video on the new Glossier Playline. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that wherever it's supposed to be linked somewhere up here. In that video, I was talking about how they had recently come out with a very similar product. And I said, I didn't know who came out with this first, but I saw that ColourPop actually did a product that's similar. You guys were really sweet to tell me who you thought, who actually started this like gel glitter thing. And it's actually a indie brand called Lemonhead. So I'm actually very curious to check out Lemonhead. Maybe I'll make a purchase in the near future. But if you've never seen stuff like this before, these are just a gel that dries down that is just packed with glitter. And then it dries down and it doesn't move. Brilliant. Cause do you know how freaking annoying it is to put glitter on when you already have foundation on and it falls? And then you try to brush it away and then it ends up in some random place that's even worse than where you would have put it originally. At least if it was on your face, it's like, oh, I can act like, oh, that was on purpose. I was supposed to go for like glitter galaxy freckles, but then it's like up here and then you like, you can't really go so far as to say that was on purpose, you know? I got two colors. This one right here, which is like this green goldy one, that's so pretty, is Dream About Me. Then our pinky lavender strawberry fart color. <laughs> is the avenue and the stars color? I don't know why I said that. I guess I imagined if like a strawberry farted, this is what it would look like. Anyway, um, listening to the sound of like 30,000 people unsubscribing, that's cool. It was nice having you here. I did notice when these came in though, these are huge. If I'm to compare them, to the Glossier ones, these are huge. These are really big. The Glossier ones have 0.1 ounces. These have 0.53 ounces. Five times the amount of product that you get in the Glossier ones. And I know these are significantly less expensive. So, so if you wanna try out a product like this, I would say maybe try these out um, because Look at how much friggin' product in there. That's amazing. But this color is really crazy because it's like a rainbow. If you keep looking at it, there's green in there, there's red in there, purple. Now I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Play tool though because I figured that would help. Um, I'm sure you can use your hands though, but I just want to get a little bit more of a precise application here. Why? Ooh, it looks red on my eyes though. <whistles> That's so pretty, yo. <laughs> Okay, this color is ridic. You lost. Redonculus. Yo, when I first got this, I thought this was the dumbest thing ever. I actually ended up with four of them because I bought four sets that Glossier does. And now I was gonna give them all away. I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do with four silicone sponges? I'm keeping every single one of them bad boys now. <laughs> Cause I'm like falling in love with products like this. And this is honestly the most precise way to put them on is having like a silicone 
brush like this? That's beautiful. What? Do y'all see that? Yo! Dare I say that might be the most beautiful eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. Like, period. Like, that's the most beautiful color I've ever seen. Oh my god, because like, if you look, it looks so copper on camera, but in person, it like, it's green and copper and purple. What? And again, because it's in this format, it's not like dripping down on my lower lash line. Like I have no fallout. That was a sexy experience. Oh my good. I wish y'all could see this in person though. Cause y'all not getting nearly what I'm getting in person. Like the sunlight on my lids, yo, is just, oh my God. I'm about to cry. Okay. Okay. I am going to put a little bit of Nillionaire, like where the matte color and the glitter meets just so that we can have a little bit better blending situation there. It's so beautiful. Ah! I'm going to mix these three colors, the Jamocha, Surreal, and Chalk and put that under my eyes just for continuity reasons. I'm gonna take this ginger color and put that on the inner corner to give it a little pop. Not that it needs to pop much more cause it's bopping all over the place. And there you have it. One of the simplest and most beautiful eyeshadow looks I feel like I've ever done in my God given life. But we did get mascara. This is the, the BFF volumizing mascara. I didn't get anything fancy. I just got the black one, black on black. Now this mascara is pretty cool cause it does come in like 8 billion colors. To be honest with you, I'm gonna put a lash on so it doesn't really matter if it's a great mascara or not. So far, it's not giving me great. It's giving me, okay, she's all right. She's a nice mascara. She's giving me C student. Like this level of mascara will probably be fine for day to day. But since I'm like wearing so much eyeshadow, it's kind of like, you don't even go here, sis. Like this isn't your part of town. I, I would pass on the mascara, <laughs> but it's cool. Cause I'm about to pop a lash on anyway. And when I'm finished with that, we can get back to the rest of the video, which is basically just lips at this point because we're almost done. Okie dokie, last but not least, we're doing in lips. Okay, one of the cool things about ColourPop is that they do a lot of things in sets. Like I said before, you can get some of the face products all in sets. You can do certain things all in sets. But one of the cool things is that you can get some of their lip products in sets. This set consisted of Tidal, which is like a red brown. This is one of their ultra satin lips, an ultra matte lip and sizzle, which is like kind of a berry red. Admittedly, I'm not gonna wear this. So this will be going to a friend very soon because I got it for the brown one and also this gloss in Cabana. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a brown, it's like a brown rose gold. As you may have noticed by my dismissive nature, the red one, I will not be wearing it today. <laughs> We're gonna go in with our satin brown that is such a unique brown color because it's not it lean it's leaning like a very dark terracotta as opposed to like a straight up brown then with our gloss this gloss has a little bit of like a metallic finish Yeah! <laughs> Okie dokie artichokey. This is the final look. Admittedly, I'm looking a little dry. It's hard for you guys to tell because I have so much highlighter on. My hand-eye coordination. I have so much highlighter on, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I want to spray this down. But for the purposes of keeping this video completely ColourPop outside of my lashes, I couldn't help that. I don't think they have false lashes. As you guys can see, we can get a really good full glam look with $100 like ColourPop. Honestly, you could probably do it for even cheaper. But if you wanted to start, say, a makeup routine and you wanted to have as many components as possible all in one go and for as little money as possible, it doesn't get a whole lot cheaper than ColourPop and good quality as well. ColourPop's eyeshadows are really top notch regardless of price. They always have been. You can find something that is going to fit your tastes and your particular looks that you're going for. As far as what I used, I really did enjoy the brown sugar palette. One qualm I had that I actually forgot to bring up while I was recording is that these pans are a little loose. Like if you can see this one, it came, like I can pop this out if I want it. There it is, I can pop that out. So that's a little annoying, but it does come with a really good full size mirror. I can use all of these on like a day-to-day -day basis. These colors really speak to me, um, warm <laughs> browns. If you're not into that, 
you're probably not human because like who <laughs> who don't like warm browns but um if you are not into that ColourPop has so many products honestly that you can find especially palette shadows and like the little pot shadows you can find something that will tickle your pickle but as far as quality they're very smooth incredibly pigmented but not too pigmented that they're hard to blend they're just really good shadows especially for how inexpensive they are so in the same conversation these glitterally obsessed things are just ridiculous i have like jumped in love with products like this i don't ever want to be without products like these cream glitters like the liquid ones are amazing too for a very similar reason just so i don't have glitter falling all over my face like I don't see myself ever using loose glitter again, either in these like gel formats or in like a liquid glitter. With that said, these in particular are gorgeous colors. I've never had a bronze glitter this sexy in my life. Really not giving it justice on camera cause it is like a copper and then it's green and then it's purple and then it's red. This color is ridiculous. I kind of want to buy all of these now which I might. These are huge. <laughs> like these are really big in comparison to the Glossier ones like I said I reviewed in my last video. As far as cost effectiveness, these are fire. Let's talk briefly about like the face products, powder, concealer, foundation. As far as the powder goes, I'm quite neutral right now. I haven't really decided. It has more of a yellow tone than a lot of my other yellow powders, which I'm actually really liking because I've talked about before how yellow powders sometimes tend to go a little ashy on me. I don't know why because I've, so, I've seen darker people than me use the same yellow powder and it works for them. <laughs> but I don't know why for whatever reason on me, some of those really light yellow powders tend to go quite ashy. This one has more of a stronger yellow tone. Um, it's hard to say whether or not I really love it simply because I need to use it with other foundations. The stick foundation is a little bit dry. So using that powder together, I didn't find that it made it super dry in these areas. It set it really well. I don't know, I still wanna keep testing it. So far though, this is one of the cheapest alternatives that I've ever used. So I'm gonna keep using it. And so far I would give it a solid B, B with an asterisk upon further investigation, <laughs> but definitely worth trying out. Stick foundation, uh, I'd give this like a B minus simply because I feel as though it looked really good at first, but it started to go quite dry really quickly. I think, again, that's partially because of my skin condition. I really needed to exfoliate and I didn't realize that until I was reminded <laughs> by this foundation. So if you do have dry patches, this will accentuate it no ifs, ands, or butter about it. But if you're exfoliating and moisturizing properly, then maybe you can get away with this more. Certainly if you have oily skin, that should be less of an issue for you. But as far as like the finish and everything where it wasn't super dry, it looked really, really nice. Gave me really good coverage. Um, really easy to throw on because it is a stick foundation. It's not super firm too, because I've noticed that some of these stick foundations can go a little firm. If you're my color and you have a horrible hard time finding foundations that are anywhere near your skin tone, 147 in is probably as close as you're gonna get. It was actually a pretty good match for me. A little bit more apricot-y than I usually go for, but uh, still a beautiful finish. I think it worked really, really well. Um, and it was a pretty close color match. These concealers bomb.com be. Now, definitely of the like complexion products, the concealers are the highlight. These are dope. Um, they're super creamy. They're kind of, I'm not trying to start no fights, but they remind me a lot of the Fenty concealers, but better. They're super creamy. They blend really well. The thing about the Fenty ones though, is that sometimes they're a little temperamental and go a little patchy. And these are mad cheap. I want to say like $6. If you get the wrong color on this, you can buy like six of these for the same price, well no, like 40s for the same price as one Fenty concealer. And also I feel like the colors I picked were really nice as well. Our cheek products, our bronzing products, our highlighting products were all really, really good as well. They're super smooth, super pigmented, but not too pigmented so that they go kind of blotchy, they don't stick really weird. If you do end up buying several of these, it would be more economical to just get the larger palette and just get the magnetized pans as opposed to getting these individual, these highlighters. I always like these. I, I don't know if I mentioned that during the video, but I have tried a few of these and they just apply so smoothly and it just looks so pretty. If I had to say any product that you could just straight up skip is probably the mascara. I don't find that it's that great. Um, if you're gonna wear false lashes like I was anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. But if you're planning on wearing it day to day, this is a very average mascara. I wouldn't buy this online. 
If you have an Ulta that carries their mascaras, maybe try it out there, but I wouldn't go through the trouble of doing the whole like shipping process for this mascara. Overdoing these videos, I realized that always tends to be the part that I don't care that much about is whatever mascara from whatever brand. There's very few brands that I'm like, ooh, this is an incredible mascara. This is a meh mascara. But it comes in cool colors though. I just didn't buy any of the colors. So if you're interested in colors, maybe check it out for that. Almost forgot about this. The eyebrow pencil was bomb. Just went on. Very Anastasia Brow Wiz-esque uh, for a very small fraction of the price. I've actually stopped buying Brow Wiz because I keep finding too many alternatives that are very, very similar and way cheaper than like 20 something dollars that the Anastasia one is. I want to say this is about 10 if that. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it wasn't a whole lot. Get your hands on this or the NYX Micro Brow. And of course the lip products. One thing that I have noticed while sitting here talking is that this lip gloss is mad sticky. <laughs> now I'm not super sensitive to sticky glosses. So you really need to notice that I'm saying this cause I'm not particularly a huge stickler, stick, stickler on sticky glosses. This one I notice. Um, so if you are someone that's like really not into sticky glosses, I would say, um, don't do the ultra glossy lip or certainly don't do this color in cabana but as far as like the look the color girl a lip lip that's a, a combination and since you can buy like several products at one time for a discounted price that's also a great way to save you some coins sis now since i did buy all this stuff from ColourPop, i don't know if that was why they gave me this or just because they're doing a promotion but they actually did give me one of their lippy sticks for free i did not purchase this it's just in here it's this a whoa and it's this like orange red color i ain't gonna wear that this is a gen m oh it's a gen m one so i'm gonna keep it i love gen m <laughs> It's a Gen M collaboration with ColourPop, so I'm gonna keep it. The Super Shock eyeshadows are still bomb. However, they have certainly changed the formula of a millionaire. It's certainly by no means like a bad shadow. It's just different from the color that I remember it being before, like the finish that it was before. So that's my gripe. But as far as it like quality wise, it's still a beautiful shadow. So that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, let me know. Cause I am currently deciding whether or not I want to do one with wet and wild. Let me know how you feel about it and get back to me with that. Cause I'd actually be really interested in knowing. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny J V. And I'll see you guys next time.